We've got coffee. We've got bagels. We got cinnamon loaf. We got cornbread. This is gonna be a delicious review. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I am so excited about this. This stuff came to our PO box a couple of days ago, but we've been eating super clean for the last few days. No bread of any sort. So we're like, we have to wait, but how do you say no to some delicious treats that show up in your mailbox? It was totally calling to us. and. Honestly, when we saw this arrive, this is from a Rosa's, right? The from name of Rosa's it. Keto Treats. They're based out of Las Vegas. I thought to myself, this is probably a beautiful company that we would get to meet in person if there was KetoCon. A keto convention of some sort. I like the little sticker. So we don't get a chance to meet all of these different amazing bakers in different regions of the country right now. Right. So I'm really thankful that you guys sent this to Thank us. Thank you for sending it to us. So that we could take and a taste. And we are happy to try this out. So Every we have three time. different things here. So first we have a cinnamon crumb like loaf cake. Yum. I'm excited about that. We have some Asiago cheese bagels. Asiago. Love myself some bagel. And we got something that I'm so excited about. I wouldn't even let us make it. We're, we're not going to make this one right now. We're, we're going to try the other stuff. We're saving this for Thanksgiving because it's cornbread. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to we're going to review this stuff. I'm pretty sure we can judge this based on how this tastes. Because if what here's the thing: with a lot of these bakeries, if one thing is good, they're all good. Yeah. If one thing is bad, you don't want any of it. That's yeah. that's my personal experience. Yes. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this. We're gonna have it for Thanksgiving, and then you're gonna have to make sure you're subscribed to our channel and you hit that bell button so that you're notified. And in an upcoming video after Thanksgiving. We're going to actually tell you what we think of this. Actually, they'll probably find out on Thanksgiving because we're going to live stream on Thanksgiving we and we're celebrating Thanksgiving on Tuesday. So who knows? You're going to have to be subscribed to find out what this cornbread mix tastes like. But we can't, what are our thoughts? But we can share what the ingredients are. When we get to the other stuff. Exactly. Okay, so let's... Where are we starting? I got bagels. I got this. I want to start here and end here. That was my thought is like, let that be dessert. Already heated them up. Ooh. So here you go. They look. I'll give you this. You can have a whole half a bagel. Oh, thank you. They look very like cheesy. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's delicious. We do not utilize Asiago like we should. That, that mm. is Asiago cheese. Buttery. No doubt about it. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I'm going to save that. Oh my gosh. I'm going to put these off to the side. Mmm. Here we go. It is a formidable bread. It's going to, it's going to hold up to whatever you put on that. Oh my gosh. That reminds me of when I was in school. Cinnamon. I was in, no. So I was in junior high. We didn't have middle school. We had junior high. You're so old. And I took home ec, which I loved home ec because I like to cook. I was terrible at it. And we made coffee cake, like the little coffee cake muffins. Yeah. And that's, it just brings back Did that Did you do memory. well? I did very Because well. for me, Whole Mac was the only B I got in all of middle school. One B. Oh, I just Whole ruined Mac. your piece. I'm going to have to cut you another piece because you, you you want a solid piece, right? You don't want like a broken piece. Well, you know, I'm going to have to have a little to dunk in my coffee. I don't know if you're going to be able to dunk this. This is like seriously like a crumb cake. Let's see. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, this is very moist. Ooh, sorry kids. Wow, yes. 
Oh, man. The only thing this is missing is like the swirl of cinnamon through the inside. Yes. Let me see. I can dunk. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Very moist. Easy like Sunday morning. Isn't that the song? This tastes like breakfast. Like this is breakfast. That is delicious. Mm. Okay. Five things? Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Number one ingredients. Okay, so of all the products we have, this one's got a nutrition label on. The rest, we're gonna have to go to the website. I feel like we're just gonna, I'm not gonna barely touch on this because we're not eating it. We'll kind of save yet. that for the other video. But the ingredients in this are almond flour, monk fruit, uh, coconut flour, baking powder, and salt. That's so uh, clean ingredients. About as clean as you can get. Let's get to the bagels. Now they're saying for this, you need two eggs, a half a cup of butter, and fourth cup of sour cream. So not like you have to go to the grocery store. You don't need a lot. For yeah. a ton of extra stuff. Okay, so the bagels, it looks like the bagels are basically fat head dough bagels. But okay. they don't taste like any fat head dough bagel that I've ever made. Are we using the wrong cheese? Mozzarella cheese, almond flour, cream cheese, mm. Asiago cheese, eggs, baking powder, and salt. They are delicious. Make sure you keep yours over there. Mine is over Not here. Not to creep into yours. Don't let it creep into mine. Really clean. Okay, so the next thing is the cinnamon crumb loaf cake. And the ingredients in this are almond flour, monk fruit sweetener, butter, cream cheese, eggs, cinnamon, vanilla bean extract, and baking powder. So the ingredients are super clean. Like, I, I love like this. Like at home clean. Right? I love this because here's what, here's the thing. I don't have the expertise to use all of these clean ingredients in the proper ratios to get this as a result. I can make you some scrambled eggs. I can put a dollop of sour cream on top, but I have a hard time baking. Right. And so here is somebody that says, I'm gonna just give you clean ingredients and I'm gonna do the baking and I've got you. It's gonna be delicious on the other end of this. Yep. Number two. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? Well, this will make eight servings. Each serving is 190 calories, 17 grams of fat, three grams of protein, four total carbohydrates, two dietary fibers. So you're looking at two net carbs for a serving of this cornbread, okay. which is pretty amazing. Let's get to the cinnamon loaf cake. So in cinnamon loaf cake, there's two loaves per order. Okay, so it just says, it doesn't say how much is a serving. Okay. Okay, oh, oh actually, it? It does. Dang it. So it says, it's pretty good actually. It says that for a half a loaf, it is 326 calories. I like where this is going. 32 grams of fat, 3.5 grams of carbs, mm -hmm. 1.5 grams of fiber. Wow. Which is two net carbs and seven grams of protein. You're telling me that if I eat half of this, I'm only eating 326 calories? That's amazing. Wow. Like, again, now again, I'll have to, I would have to double check that because that's awesome. That is stinking awesome. That is awesome. Okay, and here's the thing. Oh like, my. Like, so I can eat this whole, well, I can't eat the whole thing, but if I eat the whole thing, it's like 700 calories. So here's the thing. I may have an extra piece tonight. We're going into number three. We're going into number three. Oh, wait, no, we have to get to the bagels. Oh, I'm we sorry. We didn't do the bagels. We didn't do bagels. Well, because what I'm saying is, is like while I'm eating this, yes, this is really generous portions, but it's also like not so sweet it's burning your face off. It's, it's like not. It's a true coffee cake. Coffee it, it cake is. isn't like, I mean, it tastes like breakfast. It doesn't taste like total dessert. Bagels. 458 calories, 35.7 grams of fat, because again, fat had dough. Right. 23.5 grams of protein, six total carbohydrates, one gram of dietary fiber. So it's five net carbs per bagel, fat head dough. That's why. But it's delicious, but, but it, it is a little bit fattier. Well, and a giant bagel. Yeah, a giant, really big bagel. Number four, right? No, number three. Number three. How does it taste? How does it taste? Delicious. I mean, I have high I hopes for the cornbread. Really good, like a coffee cake should. You don't feel like you're missing out. I think these bagels are some of the best bagels I've had ever. I'm actually super excited because right? they taste delicious and I feel like I'm not destroying my day because I'm not eating a bunch of wonky ingredients and everything else. They remind me a lot of egg bagels. When you yes. order like- Oh, that was always my favorite. 
egg bagel. Yep. That's what it reminds me of. So now it's number four. How much do they cost? Okay, All right. I got the bagels up here. So the bagels are a little expensive. It's okay. $17 for four bagels. That's wow. a little expensive. So what is that's that working out to be? That's like what? Mm, it's almost like it's like four dollars a bagel. It's a treat. It's yeah. It's like a little over four dollars a bagel. It's been a long time though since we went to an Einstein Bagels, a, a Brooklyn Water Bagels, and those aren't even the bagels. And that, they're a couple dollars a bagel. That are like the fancy, fancy pants ones that we used to go to right. in New York. Right. Okay. Uh, let's get into the coffee cake. Okay. Or the cinnamon, I want to call it coffee cake, but it's a cinnamon crumb cake. All right. Two loaves, so two of these, 12 bucks, so six bucks. That's a good price. Yeah. I think that's a good price. Six dollars for this whole loaf. Three dollars a, a serving, and it's a giant serving. And it's a giant serving. When you compare that to, uh, smart cakes. Yeah. Right? I mean, smart cakes is three dollars for two little tiny cakes. So yeah. I, I think we're pretty good. I think there. that's where the value is. Now, what about this? Okay, so we're gonna go that's a different page. I gotta go back to that page. Because I am it's interested a baking in baking because they have a lot of different things. They have bagel boxes, chocolate cake bundles, cinnamon bagels, chocolate glazes. I mean, they have lots of stuff on here. Uh so the baking mix. That cornbread mix, uh -huh. nine bucks. So that's like right, Reasonable. right in the brain, which all of the other different prepackaged mixes. Because like again, that. it's nine dollars. It's going to make eight servings. So you're looking at under two dollars a serving for cornbread, which I have a feeling if the bagels and the cake is any indication, it's, it's going to be, be good. amazing. So they also have buttermilk pancake mixes, focaccia bread uh, mixes, biscuit mixes, uh, easy roll mixes snickerdoodle cookie mixes. So they have a lot of different things. Of this stuff. to me is the find. I think that's the find. I think that's the value, but I'm really excited about I can't this. Wait. Well, let's talk about number five. Number five is what we recommended. Absolutely. If you're looking for something super clean ingredients, I don't know what the other stuff tastes like, but if it's any, if this is any indication, I think it's all going to taste awesome. Yeah. I think this is the fine. I think this is the I fine. I think the bagels are really good, but I do think they're just a tad bit expensive. I don't know if I'd spend $17 for four bagels. But we're cheap. So yeah. that's not, you know. That's true. That, I mean, we we're cheap. cheap. We are cheap. We're super cheap. But this I think is a value. Yeah. But again, if you want a super clean ingredient, if you want a gift, you want to send somebody a gift for the holidays, maybe Christmas coming up, you know somebody who's keto, this is awesome. I like the way it came packaged. I like yes. Rose's little sticker. I mean, well, it's just nice. You could have a big order and just like have the Sunday morning or Sunday morning, Christmas morning brunch covered because that's what we do. Mm -hmm. We have, you know, our meal for our big family like later, but we just like to have some brunch items out when you're opening the gifts and just kind of like hanging out and stuff in the morning. And this is all very brunchy food. Well, that's going to be our video for today. Let us know if you've ever tried anything from Roses. And if you have, what was your favorite thing? Yeah. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of our other review videos, which you can find right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're gonna find right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel, click the little bell icon. That way, every single time we taste something delicious, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.